hi and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel thanks so much for watching and stopping by i really do appreciate it so i want to get right into this video i don't want to make it way too long valentine's day is coming up and we're always all looking for a new makeup look or a classic makeup look or hairstyle to do so i decided to go more towards the old hollywood glam and this is the look that i came up with so in today's tutorial i'm just going to show you my way of achieving the old hollywood glam hairstyle with the deep side part the laid down hair on the side lots of volume i mean i didn't go too crazy with the volume because i'm not a big fan of having my hair with a ton of volume but i did do a little bit more than i normally would and curling it oh my gosh this i'm loving loving this look so if you want to see how i achieve this look then just keep watching all right guys so i'll wait for my cat all right guys so i've already did like a super deep part right here in my hair because what we're gonna do at the end is just yes tigger oh so at the end we're just gonna put this down behind our ear very nice and flat and have this have a ton of body so i've already deep parted my hair you can put it to whatever side you want or if you want to do it yeah or you can put it to whatever side and i'm just gonna brush out my hair and i'm still gonna leave like a little bit of volume right there because I want that nice big poof at the end. Now you're going to do your hair in sections. So I'm going to be using this bed head. Um, I forgot the name of this, but I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'm only going to be using the big parts of the bubbles to get that nice big curl to it. And in between, I'm also going to be using these little babies. Here, I'll take one out for you. I think I ordered these off of Amazon. What are these called? They're called prong clips. Um, Diane double prong clip, double prong clips. What a, a tongue twister. Um, these are 1.75 inches. Uh, so that's what it's going to look like. I know that's not like the best interpretation because my camera was not zooming, but I'm pretty sure you have all seen these in the salon. We're going to be pinning up the curls as we go along oh my eyes are killing me i think because i slept with my contacts on last week ever since i've just been my eyes have been so irritated and they look red like everybody's been asking me what's wrong like have you been crying like is everything okay and i'm like no my eyes are super irritated and i hate wearing my glasses because my glasses are super scratched I really need to get some eye insurance so that I can get a brand new pair of glasses and be able to see properly but so I'm stuck with wearing my contacts so don't lesson learned don't fall asleep with your contacts in. all right guys so let's get this going so I'm going to section off my hair and I'm going to start from the bottom and usually what I'll do when I curl my hair is I curl it away from my face but for this old classic Hollywood look, you're actually going to want to curl towards your face.
Alright guys, so once you get to the section where it's right here, you're going to want to start putting some volume into the top of your hair. So the way that you do it is you're going to take your curling wand or whatever you're using and you're going to want to do just put it right underneath here and just give it a little bit of volume by working it right at your root just like this and then what I like to do is I like to curl upwards now this is my first strand so it's not gonna look perfect and just let it sit for 20 seconds or until the heat starts to come through your hair. And you're still going to pin it exactly the way that you would pin the other ones. So I like to twist mine again so it's super tight and then it will curl up by itself. And you're also going to do... <laughs> My hair is so like, there it is. So these strands in the back also, to give it just a little bit of volume, you're also gonna um, curl it up towards the top of the hair. But these you're going to curl towards the back. And you can actually curl this one all the way down to the root if you like, since we're curling it just like this. And let it go. Look at those beautiful, beautiful curls. And these can be a little bit looser, if you like. I like to, I don't like a ton of volume in my hair, but I like, like just enough. So I don't always go all the way to the root, but you can if you like. See how it gives it just a little bit of volume, just enough for me. You can always tease the top, and as you get further, to the top of your hair, you're actually going to start curling it away from your face. Now this last piece, I'm going to put a ton of volume in because this is the one that's going to go right over here and give this look its presence. That one came out so perfect. So perfect. I'm not even going to pin it up so if you guys remember if you guys used to live or at least lived in the tri-state area back when myspace was really popular and guidos or the term guido because we all know that can also be a very derogatory um, term for Italians um, but the guys with the blowouts and the spiky hair they always use got to be glue and I absolutely love the hairspray. This is the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. Oh my god, I don't know if my camera is actually going to zoom in, but look at that guy's hair and how high this girl's hair is too. So you're going to want to spray it while it's, all of your hair is still pinned up so that it keeps it smooth. I have this Smoothing Hydro Gel by um, Caviar Anti-Aging. I'll put the link down below for this. I'm just gonna, I have a bunch of flyaways like right here that I'm gonna smooth out with this. And put a little bit of gel on my fingers. And now it's time to undo all these pins. So I'm just gonna actually separate some of these curls and bring them backwards and I'm actually gonna start from the back 
and unpin my hair. Now see the curls are super tight. So what I'm gonna do is, you can brush your fingers through it, like I'm doing it, or you could use an actual brush and do this. All right, like I said, we're just gonna tuck this. You can brush your hair down. Mine, because I didn't put a lot of volume on this side, didn't have to. If you have thick, but you want your hair to be a little bit thicker or you have thin hair, you can always go in with some clip-in extensions. I think a model had given this to me. I think these are Christy Brinkley. I could be wrong, hair extensions. They already have everything put in and they're already curled and stuff. It's not exactly my hair color, but Hey, it's free hair extensions, so I'm going to try and clip them in to give my hair a little bit more volume. And my hair. Look how long these extensions are. I haven't had long hair like this in years, but wow, what a difference it makes for the hair style, at least. What a difference. Now, I only put one in. Let's see what, what two looks like. All right, guys, so this is the final look with two, I guess, I don't know what they're called. Um, you know the real name of the amount of extensions I just use. Uh, comment it down below. But this is the final look. I absolutely love this. I don't know if I would go full throttle with all of the extra hair. I may have just left one in if I was to actually wear this out to an event or something. But I really had so much fun making this look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any feedback down below in the comment section. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.